How are you guys doing? This is Tino from LAPC Networking and today I'm going to show you how to change the hard drive on a Mac Mini. So to do this, the first thing, we're going to put some tape right here so that we're going to protect it for the scratches. And then the tools that we're going to need, we're going to need a Phillips, we're going to need a Torx, and we're going to need some tweezers to proceed with this operation. Okay, so the first thing, we're going to flip it down. And if you see, it has these little two holes right here and two on the side. So you're going to flip it, kind of twist them, create some pressure lift it up and then over here we're gonna flip it like this and we're gonna remove these five screws right here okay so let's remove those this one and this last one right here Okay, so after this, you're gonna have this other screw on the fan and this other side too. This is our, these two screws are smaller and one on the bound by the memory. So it's three screws from the fans, from the fan, I mean, and the five screws on the top for the other pieces. You're gonna flip the fan up like this and it has a cable. Just try to lift the cable slowly, just be careful. You're gonna put it on the side and then you're gonna see that you have another screw under the fan it's a little longer once that we remove that we're gonna flip it we're gonna pull it up but a little bit to the side it's a little tricky so just be careful slowly here we go once that we get that we're gonna move it again like this we're gonna lift this up and it has a cable attached so be careful lift it up and flip it so this little cable, just make sure that you don't break this cable. And uh, it's going to be easy to connect and just easy to pull. Once you with the practice, you just pull it like that, like this. Okay, now after this, you have a connector here. We're going to lift it. Just be careful with this. Don't rip it. And we're going to lift the hard drive and we're going to pull it to you, towards you. Okay, slowly. Can I jiggle it a little bit like this? and then flip it okay so it's no more connectors this is the only connector the connector that is attached to the board okay so right now we're going to remove these two screws these ones we're going to use it to put it on the new hard drive also you can notice that this black plastic on the hard drive we need it for the other one some people don't like to put it in but i like to put everything exactly the way that it comes before now just make sure that you remove this plastic first because if it's not, you're not going to be able to disconnect the cable and you can rip your cable. So just go slowly like this from this side and then the other side right here. So that you don't rip the plastic. And then you can disconnect the cable. So you see the cable is completely fine. So you can get it damaged if you don't remove the plastic first. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to get our new hard drive. This is a Samsung HTC, I mean a Samsung a Evo, and this is 500 gigabytes. This is an SSD drive, so it's gonna help you on uh, the computer because it's gonna boot faster. It's gonna be always be faster to to move around. Uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna overheat that much compared to a regular drive, and it's lighter too. So I love this new technology, these new drives, and. Um, so to continue here, we're gonna put the connector first, like this, and then we're gonna get this plastic. We're gonna attach it. Just try to put it exactly the way that it was before. With the, it has a little adhesive, so. And then we're gonna put the two screws. So if you put it, um, you're gonna need it this side. If you see the connector, the connector is on the left, so the plastic is going to be facing you, and that side is the one that we're going to put the screws, like this, and this one too. So this one, they're going to insert inside of the housing, it has two little holes in this housing here. So the screws, they're kind of like laying inside. It's a little tricky to insert it on the actual um 
housing on the actual base but we're gonna do it pretty quick so one side another just make sure you're gonna feel right away once that is the hook in and then you can lift it a little bit and you have the connector here so once that we put the connector just press it just make sure the lock's in make sure that anything is loose just make sure the line you can use your little tweezers or any type of tool just to hold it and then we're gonna get this plastic on the side first the antenna connect the antenna so it's a little tricky just make sure that you don't push it that you don't rip it put it through the inside and then slide it a little bit and just it will clip right away like this here we go and then once that you have that secures retouch your cable just to make sure that it's connected properly then we, now we're going to get the plastic put the the little corner first like this to the side it's a little tricky and then you, once that is inserted all the way we're gonna uh, use the connector with the fan here this one you just only push it on the top obviously be nice don't damage anything else and then we're gonna put it right here align it remember this one it has three screws let me see why it's not letting me connect it properly here there you go okay it clicks perfect so it has three screws so we're gonna put the one on the corner first by the memory this is the torch one I mean all of them are torques, torques so then we're gonna get the other side on the top of the memory and this left side and then once you tied up the screw we're gonna go to the other side second screw for the fan put it on a little bit and then we're gonna put the five screws on the outside this is the bigger torques so here is one and then here is the other one and then we're gonna put the other one over here and we're gonna get our third screw for the fan right here on the corner this is uh, the thinner torx and then one that we got here the last two screws they're gonna be for the grill this one and this other one once that we get this now we're gonna put the cover so this cover just make sure that you clean everything i like to clean everything no fingerprints no grease put it and then you're gonna twist it now the other side it's nice and secure we're gonna flip it we're gonna remove the tape remember this tape is to protect to protect the device for the scratches once that we remove this it's all done I hope you guys like it. Please comment and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put it down below. Thank you so much.